Okay, so in this video, we're going to see an example of another collection type that's in the C++ standard template library, and that is a map. So a map takes two types, and I'm going to call this grades, and that's going to store a set of pairs that map a string to an int. So I can insert some grades, and I'm going to insert a pair, which as you can tell is another type, and I call the constructor with the values I want. So I'll do Bruce. Okay, so let's insert some more values. There we have our map. So now let's print it. And we're going to print it with an iterator. So we have a map from string to int iterator. And let's make sure we include string. And we'll call that ITR for iterator. And we're going to start at grades begin. We're going to go until we get to the end, and we'll increment the iterator each time. And inside that iterator, so now the iterator is going to be each pair that's in that map. So the access, the individual members there, we're going to get the first. And then the second element of that pair. So let's run this code just to see how it works. So it looks like we're missing a semicolon here. So let's leave that alone. Or let's fix that. And we're missing a parentheses on this line. Okay, so that works. So now let's run. And you can see here's everybody with their grades. Okay, so now let's work with the map. Let's put some comments in here first. So now we're going to delete Jackson's grade. The erase function will delete an entry in a map. That function is going to return the number of map entries it did delete. So I'm going to say grades, erase, Jackson. So I'm going to say print how many grades I removed. And then I'm going to print the remaining grades. And actually, I think what I'm going to do is here I'm going to print that these are the grades. And then I can copy the same thing down below to print what's remaining. Actually, I want to copy the whole for loop. So let's compile that and run, and we would expect to see Jackson's grade removed. So you'll see we removed one grade, and there's our remaining grades. So let's suppose we want to do some searching. So I'm going to set up a string here. And I'll initialize it to be Rachel, but I'll use this. 
I'll reuse this as I'm searching for more. This is going to not return a Boolean, but the find function will return grades.end if it reaches the end and doesn't find the grade. So if that happens, we can compare what we found to the grades.end and that'll tell us if we have a have found it or not. So if this equals the end, then we know we haven't found it. So we're going to print that we're not able to find a grade for that person. Otherwise, we'll print what their grade is. And the way we do that, we say grades at search name. And we want to put our quote in the right place here so that it, that's correct. And I guess we can put our two spaces here as well. Okay, so what happens if we don't have that grade? So let's copy this code again. So there's our code. And now let's set search name to be Jackson, which we know isn't there, right? We removed it. So we're going to search for Rachel, which is there, Jackson, which isn't. And in both cases, we're either going to print, we couldn't find the grade or we'll print what their grade is. So let's compile and run. And there we see Rachel's grade and that we're unable to find the grade for Jackson. Now, what if we want to update a map entry? So here, what we're going to do is we're going to update Bruce's grade. So we're going to say grades at Bruce, and then we're going to add five to Bruce's grade. And then we can print Bruce's updated grade, again using grades at Bruce, then, actually we're already printing Bruce's grades, so we don't need to print them all. And if we print these out, notice there's the updated grade. Bruce had a 84, now Bruce has an 89. So we could do, use this idea. We could even like run through a loop and say, uh, use this to assign letter grades. We could have a for loop where we say, okay, for every, for everything, for everything in the iterator, let's look at it. If the grade is this, we'll print that their grade is an A or a B or, or so on. So there's a lot more methods for the map that we haven't discussed, but the documentation is available if you want to take a look at it. But I think this gives you an overview of how to use them. And again, keep in mind that it doesn't have to be a string and an int. It can be an int and an int, a string and a string, or some object you create with some other object you create. You can, you can map any two types together.